for more than 2,500 years, a landmark and symbol of one of the most influential European cultures, it now rises above the rooftops of the Greek capital of Athens. It is the Acropolis. Prior to arriving at the world-famous temple, located on a prominent limestone rock, there are numerous buildings that date back to ancient times. One example is the theatre of Herodes Atticus. In the summer months, great hordes of people are attracted to these ancient ruins. And today is no exception. During the 5th century BC, a monumental entrance was built under the direction of Greek architect Mnesicles, the Propyls. A hundred years ago, there were stone buildings on the hill above the Athenic plain. Unfortunately, Almost all of them were destroyed during the Second World War. The Persians burnt down a temple that was located here in 480 BC. However, 30 years later, further buildings were erected. It took nine years to build the great temple of the goddess Athene, known as the Parthenon, which was completed in 438 BC. Unique among all other Greek temples, with its imposing appearance and artistic decorations, this temple signified the great influence and power of ancient Athens. The majestic dimensions and special charisma of the Pantheon are timeless. Architecturally, this elegant building is totally unique. Today, its 42 Doric columns are closer to each other than they were originally. Each of the columns that supported its former roof appear to have inclined inwards. Just a few meters from the Athens temple, the Acropolis Museum contains numerous outstanding archaeological treasures that have been discovered in this vicinity. The majority of the exhibits date back to the 5th and 6th centuries, a richly golden time in the culture of ancient Greece. Since 1878, the museum has exhibited several ancient sculptures of the Acropolis, in addition to various well-preserved sections of the Parthenon's magnificent frieze. The 
temple remained more or less intact for several years. However, in 1687, while being used as a fortress by the Turks, the building was destroyed by the Venetians. The ancient treasures of the Acropolis have always been closely associated with the turbulent history of Athens, and today these ancient ruins are under constant threat from car exhaust fumes. Since 1977, much has been invested to preserve and restore these historical structures. A popular tourist attraction are the six graceful statues of young girls, the Kors or Caritids. They are located in the south hall of the extensive Erechtheion that contains several floors. Legend has it that this was once the location of a contest between the gods. During the competition, Athene's powers germinated an olive tree. Throughout the course of history, these buildings have been put to many uses. In 1643, a number of Turkish military commanders turned a blind eye to the religious significance of this area. They transformed the Erechtheion into a harem. Since the beginning of the 4th century, the mythical kings Kekrops and Erechtheus were worshipped here until the city's subsequent decline. Throughout the centuries, the temples and buildings that are situated on Acropolis Rock have had an amazing influence on both artists and architects alike. The unique cultural value of these imposing ruins has once again become of vital significance in the hometown of the Olympic Games. Thus, the ancient Acropolis will continue to be the cradle of Occidental culture and will illuminate the night sky of Athens forever.